This video will introduce the Factory Talk Asset Center archive capability. The archive capability is used as a central repository and change management authority for all files within a Factory Talk Asset Center system. When a file is placed into the asset tree, you can back up and protect the files associated with those devices using archive. The file is moved from the local hard drive into the Asset Center database, which resides on a Microsoft SQL server for permanent storage. Anytime the file needs to be accessed after this, it is retrieved from the Asset Center database and onto the local hard drive of the Factory Talk Asset Center client. Any type of electronic file can be stored and use the archive capability. Files do not need to be associated with Rockwell products. In the web client, the archive capability is the default capability when using the asset tree. Workflow on the archive section is like the Asset Center desktop client. Selecting a device asset will show archive information for any children files. Selecting the file itself in the asset tree will show more detailed archive information. A navigation breadcrumb shows the current location in the asset tree. General asset information such as status and size are displayed in the upper portion. Version information, including the user who created the archive version and their comments, are shown in the lower portion. As you can see, there are 33 total versions of this file. Archived assets are stored in the Factory Talk Assets Center database. Checking out and checking in files is supported in the web client, dependent on user privileges. Users can check out both files and folders in the web client. The web client archive capability does not support the context menu, such as open or open working folder, that the Asset Center desktop client supports within the asset tree. There are two retrieval operations available. A checkout operation will retrieve a copy of the asset for editing. The user that checked out the file is granted exclusive rights to edit the file. The file cannot be edited by multiple other users. Once the file is edited, it can be checked into the archive as a new version and the file lock is cleared. A checked out file will remain locked until it is checked back in or until an undo checkout operation is performed. This operation can be secured and will cancel the checkout and unlock the file. A get operation will retrieve a read-only copy of the file and is not meant for editing. Files acquired with a get operation cannot be used to create a new version. This example will check out a file. A pop-up window appears asking if a local copy is desired. Add comments if desired and select OK. Observe that the download has occurred as a zip file. Now with most files, it's tempting to just double click on the file and open it up. However, the files need to be extracted from the zip file to ensure they don't open up as read-only. Let's go see where the file was saved at because this is different than the Asset Center desktop client. Navigate to the Downloads folder. Right-click on the zip file that shows the file name, underscore today's date, and year month day format, and select Extract All. The default folder that comes up when extracting the files is C Users, the current user, downloads and the file name with the year, month, day format. In our case, we're going to leave the location as default and click extract. Now it's also important to note that this folder's location is controlled by the browser that we're using. It's also much different than the desktop client where the working folder is set by the administrator. Back in the web client, observe the navigation breadcrumb. See the check mark? That shows us the file has been checked out. The line underneath the breadcrumb shows the user, location, and time that the file was checked out. In this instance, the ACD file downloaded as a zip file. This is because ACD files can be automatically checked out and checked in. The zip file contains the desired file as well as a .asc file. The .asc file is used for automatic self-checkout and check-in, but is not currently used in the web client. If a file cannot automatically be checked in or out, such as an asset inventory RAI file, the file will be downloaded directly as an RAA file and not as a zip file. Now open up the ACD file to make the desired changes. Then save and close the file. Once online changes are complete and saved, check the file back in using the web client. A check in operation moves a copy of the file on the local hard drive into the Factory Talk Asset Center archive. So we'll select the checked out file and select check in pop-up window appears asking to either attach a folder by drag and drop or click to upload. Navigate to the location of the file. File is saved under this PC 
downloads, and the folder name filler underscore clx.acd. Observe that the file is attached, then add comments to what was changed. Comments can be configured as mandatory if desired. We now see that a new version of the file has been created. The Factor Talk Asset Center archive uses a binary file check to determine if a file is different on check-in. If so, it will increment the version number with the time, action, user, and comments that were just added. You can also observe under the navigation breadcrumb, this file is checked in. One other difference between the web client and desktop client is that when using the web client, the browser and operating system prevent automatic deletion of files after checking the file back in. To ensure that the file is only stored in the Asset Center database, the files and folders need to be deleted once everything is checked in. Additional operations are available, including the ability to get a copy of a previous version to designate a primary or pinned version separate from the newest version. The Factory Talk Asset Center archive is also used to store binders. A binder is a group of files and folders that is configured as a single asset. This is convenient for projects consisting of multiple files, such as the Connected Components Workbench project. However, the web client does not display any component details about a binder's content. Using the Factory Talk Asset Center archive capability, you can implement a secure, centralized storage for operation of critical processes and configuration files. Thank you for watching.